Hey guys, it is JP from Alter and Gizmo and I'm here today to do a quick review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and uh, before I start the review, I gotta say I'm not a Samsung fan I'm a gadget fan and uh, and I've, I always say if somebody did a good job, I have to tell them they did a good job and with this phone guys, they did a great job uh, I'm gonna start the review of the build quality and the build quality of the phone guys, it's just wow uh, they did a good job the metal frame and the, this is not those fake metal it's real metal around the phone everything around the power button is right here volume on the other side and they did a great job if you open the back one thing I, i'm so happy they did this time uh the last one the micro sd card and the same code was over here on top right here on top of each other this time they separated and i'm really happy they did that because it was just a pain in the butt really up in the butt sometime so i'm glad they did that with this one there's your speaker right here sensor camera and this phone is not waterproof and i, I personally think that's what i think i know i approve of it that's what i think i think the phone is not waterproof because of the s pen there's no way they could make that phone waterproof the s pen uh, but uh, I'm, I, don't, I don't take shower with my phone so i don't go in the rain on my phone so even though my phone is waterproof i still don't do that so it is what it is uh, I right now I'm, I'm running the Google Launcher on it because Torchways is still Torchways, and uh, but they did a good job. It's not heavy, but I just I prefer the Google Launcher, so that's why I'm running. I'm running the Google Launcher in there, and if you are a fan of Samsung, but you don't like Torchways, you're a fan of the the build quality of the phone, put put the launcher on it. You will not feel you will not see the difference guys. The only time you see the difference is when you go down here. And this is why touch is really kinda heavy, just right here. And I think they should just everybody trying to do with uh pure angel stack do the notification except LG and Samsung. I don't know why they're doing that. But unfortunately it is what it is. And uh, so when you go to setting, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not as bad. And uh, it's really self-explanatory. It's really not as bad at, as I thought it was going to be. Uh, my only concern, I would say, with the phone is just this. Touch choice. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's just there. And uh, the, the, a lot of people ask me about the battery. The battery is okay. I think the best Note battery was the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I mean, when you put a 2K screen on a phone, it's going to kill your battery. That's the, I mean, that will kill your battery, definitely. Let me see my battery percentage right now. Now, 55%. And it's been off charge for about 10 hours. But, let me see. But I've been using the fast charge with it but again i just unplug it about 10 hours ago and then just i never plug it back in but uh, in average for example i went to work yesterday i unplug it on six i work 12 and a half hour shift i got home around 8 30 or so 8 8 30 no actually i got home at eight and uh i was at 25 percent after a full charge and to me that's not great because with my iPhone 6 Plus, when I go to work for that long, when I get home, I'm at 65, 50%. With my LG G2, about the same thing. And with the Note 2 when I had it, definitely about the same thing. But the, what's killing this phone is the screen. The screen is just bright. The screen is just killing it. It's too much. And that's what happened with the G3. And I'm not... Uh, that's what I'm so disappointed on this phone. It's a nice phone, but I'm just disappointed. Now, the quality of the pictures, I haven't taken that much pictures with it because I've been using my iPhone 6 Plus to take picture. Uh, I'm going to see to see if I have any picture I can show you guys that I took with this phone. Because I've been taking all my pictures of my iPhone 6 Plus and I don't think I have any pictures in here that I can show you guys. I don't have nothing that I can show you. I'm going to take a picture real quick. Yeah, I can't show you any picture in there on the phone. And uh, it's it's a really good camera. I'm not going to lie to you. The, the quality is very good. 
but it's just not iPhone 6 plus to me and so I just took a couple pictures from my windows real quick for you guys uh, it's it's very good again after you use the iPhone 6 plus or 6 or 6 plus battery any phone will look good but I've seen better and uh, but you can't go wrong you can't really go wrong with this you really can go wrong with it I mean as as I zoom in you can see that you can go on and this is for because I took the picture from my window so and I'm sorry, I'm, I would say I'm, I'm really impressed with it, but again, as you take a picture from my iPhone 6 Plus, you can go back with something else. So if that's your only option, after the 6 Plus, I would say between the LG and the Galaxy Note 4, those are the best camera after the iPhone 6, 6 slash or the 6 Plus. The LG or the Note 4, those are the best camera out there. And uh, so for my, that's my daily travel for the past couple of weeks, I'm impressed with everything they did. Touch switch is there, but it's not that serious. It doesn't bother me as much as I thought, except only when I'm the I'm using the notification uh, touch switch bother me. And when I'm in the setting right here, it doesn't bother me as much at all. And uh, they did a good job with it. They slow everything. Like the speed is just ridiculous, but they slow on touch switch. That's why you get a lot more speed. I, I barely get any lag on the, with the phone. Uh, the only time I got a lag was when I put the S View case in there. And uh, after that, the lag stop. I guess you just have to update it and that should go. I don't know why. It just happened. I literally I put the FUK within less than 30 seconds. And I got the lag and after that everything just stopped. But other than that, I've been using the phone. I barely see any lag. And uh and I put the launcher in there because I'm not too crazy about uh I'm not too crazy about touch rays. And I'm I'm a big fan of uh, the Google launcher. Every phone I have now I just put the Google launcher in there. And uh, if you don't, if you're not too crazy about those trees, do that. Uh, if the note, if the Galaxy, if the Nexus Six wasn't coming coming out, I probably use will use this as my daily driver. Just that would be my phone. If the Nexus Six wasn't coming out, but uh, the Nexus Six coming out, that would be my daily driver. I also have this phone around, but I have to check the camera quality with this and the Nexus to see which have a better camera. Because I'm going on vacation, I need a phone that can take great picture. And as, as you guys see, it's not bad. And uh, the S Pen is still the S Pen. I don't use it as much. You know, you can like uh, you can do those stuff with it that I don't really care. You take a picture. You process it. You can do whatever you want to do. And I don't use S Pen. It's just not something that I use. But it's it's if it's something that you're into, definitely look look to go into it. The reason I like the phone is just the phone. I like. The build quality is a big phone out of the build quality, but S Pen is not something that I use all the time. I only use S Pen once, maybe twice. Sometimes you want to, you have a picture and want to say something. Like for example, I'm going to show you a picture real quick. I wanted to make somebody understand what I I was doing in my bathroom. So they show me a picture. I will look like when it's done, and I explain to them I don't want that gap right here. So the S Pen really helped me with that. But other than that, it's just not something that I use. So. If you guys have any question about the phone, please leave me a comment, and I will answer your comments. And then, my and if you're gonna get that phone, this is what you really need. Get the watch. It's a lot of money. Get the watch. It's worth it. I'm telling you right now. Get the watch. Don't worry about the band color because you can take that out and change it when the new bands come out. You can just take this out and change it when you come out. Get the watch. You'll see. And uh, if you guys have any question, guys. Bless up, guys. Until then, DJP for my tank is more.